Right, it's that time again. End of the season. Oh, fucking hell. As you can see, we've got Paul here. Say hello, Paul. Hello, hello everybody. So, um, basically, guys, we're not going to go through every game here. Um, just going to be talking, basically, about the utter shite as a whole, really. Um, uh, but before we do, um, obviously, I'm sure Paul will join me here in saying, uh, you know, prayers and thoughts for the families in Manchester because of what happened on Monday night. Definitely. Definitely. Certainly wasn't nice to see, especially having kids of my own. Now, obviously, I know I put a post out on Facebook, um, basically saying I was going to announce something in this video, and that is speaking to the missus extensively yesterday morning before I went to work. We've decided that it's probably best in my son's interest that if I go to a football game, my son stays at home. Uh, that's the announcement. It's not trying to put me in a bubble with what's going on. You know, they're moving from London, now it's in Manchester, who knows where it could be next. Could be anywhere, uh, so especially with these big uh, events, events coming up now. now. Exactly, I, d I don't want to take that risk, you know, as it stands, we were going to go to the air show, <laughs> we're not now. <laughs> no way, and you know, that's with all due respect to these people, you know, these families in Manchester as well. Um, so th that's the announcement, my son's going to be staying put for the time being until we sort of feel safe enough to, to do it, guys. Um, uh, Can I just add on that, Greg? Go for it. As you as you know, South Shields was going to do an open top bus for because they won on Sunday. Yes, the, uh, the South done, Shields yeah, have, have actually cancelled that. Yeah, due to what's happened. So, um, but yeah, and the one one other point as well uh, that I've seen a lot on my personal Facebook. Don't but you know, people that are watching this video don't blame every fucking Muslim. It, it really does, and I, I know Paul doesn't really swear too much, but it pisses me off. It really does. It's not every Muslim. I know Muslims. I, you know, when I go to work, okay, there's no Muslims where I work, but the job I do, I deliver to some. And as far as I know, they're fine. It, you know, it's not every Muslim. So people watching this, if you're one of the stereotypes, a bit of a change of heart and a change of mind, yeah? A bit more considerate. Because if they were all terrorists, then why were Muslim taxi drivers taking people away from the arena, free of charge? You know? So lighten up a bit, guys. Lighten up. Alright. Right. <coughs> so, now we've got that done. Um, going to be want the football. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> God, what's just <laughs> happened? <coughs> so... Paul, if you could sum up our season in one word, I'll go after you. What, what would it be? It has to be. Oh, that's, that's going to be, be tricky. I would say. It... Oh, oh, I don't know. know. Hard. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to say diabolical. That, that's the only word that springs to mind, really, with that lot. It really does. Um. Uh, it's but it, it was it has been a, one of those weird seasons because we've got big wins you know beating Palace four nil. <laughs> that was our last one. Yeah, beating Hull three nil as well. Uh, you know near the uh, beginning end of the season. You know it's it, uh, it was just the players, wasn't it? Moyes' mindset didn't help. That's obvious. And in case you don't know, guys, David Moyes retired. Uh, David Moyes resigned on Monday morning. Paul's over the moon. <laughs> I wonder what time. <clears throat> Not early enough. <laughs> That's what time. <laughs> um, well, to be honest, honest I've, I've, I've been, been well, well. People have people, people were seen on tour sports, sports, you know, because, because this week the post have been about, about the money. money. Yeah, that's what I got told. So, so really. Does, Does that, that mean, mean we've, we've got, got no money, money or anything? Because, because um, Richard Mene and Phil Smith, Smith were speaking on this yesterday, yesterday actually. Um, we we posted here from Morton Bay in, in the coming days, days yeah. to, to find out the situation. Because Morton Bay is the best one, really, to tell the uh, supporters. Yeah, I mean, or is it a case of we've got money but not the amount Moyes wanted? You know, that's it, it. Could it could be one of them? I mean, all we could do is speculate until Martin Bain comes up with a statement. Obviously, 
Yeah, yeah because, because you please notice, notice in, in the statement that the shot put out, Martin Bain, Bain didn't actually, actually add anything. anything. Yeah, it, it was just another shot. Yeah. <laughs> but so Moyes is gone. The hunt's on for a replacement. To be honest, I've. But I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna add there actually. actually but mm -hmm. Ellis Short has always wanted David, David Moyes, and, and it's not worked. worked. So, where, where does he go? Where, where does he look from here? I know there's loads of managers that are half decent that are out of contract, you know, that haven't got contracts with other clubs, obviously, you know, unemployed, but where where do you go? How do you narrow down that shortlist? No, no idea, idea, but, but I, I think, think, well, I don't, I don't know, know, but, but Nigel, Nigel Pearson is actually shortlisted, shortlisted at the moment for Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough. Yeah. Because Middlesbrough's looking for a new manager. manager. Well, well, not, not yet, yet, but you, you don't know what's going to happen with Steve Agnew, Agnew do you? Yeah, that's true, that's true. He said that they're going to deal with that after. Um, might hear something in the next uh, few days, you never know. So, but obviously we know with with last, well we can say that now, with last season, <laughs> oh, you're looking at it. Somebody pointed out to me, uh, I believe it was Panini Football, uh, in the comments in the uh, video, the final video, and... He pointed out Harry Kane scored 29 goals. How many goals did Sunderland score as a team? 29. Well, really, if you, if you take out Jermaine Defoe out of the squad, 14. where's the goals going to come from? Exactly, you know. Fort and, and we saw that our best one was Crystal Palace. <laughs> yeah. Well, granted, he kind of forced that through himself, though, as well, didn't he? Yeah, yeah I'm saying, no, but. Well, it's like BT, well, BT, BT Sports said. said you know, you know, we, we actually, actually let, let Patrick Van Arnold go to Crystal Palace. Palace. Yeah, and you know, they were, at the time, they were in the relegation battle themselves. Uh, you know, it's... And, and, now, now, and now, now Sam, Sam took, took them out, and now, now he's gone. gone. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, so again, that's the other news, as Paul just said. Sam Allardyce, uh, I don't, has, has it been completely confirmed yet that he's retired or not? Well, well, to be honest, honest they, they actually, actually wait. Sky Sports News actually, actually waited for a while for a statement to come out. Yeah. Because they, they were speaking to people that knew Sam. And, and uh, his representatives actually did put out a statement. I think he has retired, but you're not to stay with family. Because to be honest, I said to a friend last night, you don't really believe Sam Allardyce at Look how long he's been in managing. Not managing, but. Look how long he's been a manager for. Yeah. Oh, you just, you, you don't know. I mean, he could always come out of retirement as well. Who knows? <laughs> but the thing is, so, <coughs> I, I, I think Sam Allardyce might wait for a big, big club to come, come in. in. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere like China, China or something. something. Oh, you guarantee, well, China with the money. You know, if you wanted to chase the money, that would be the place to go. You know, um... So, right, well, we've described the season as a whole. Oh, for fuck's sake. <coughs> That's excuse me, I'll get the cold. <coughs> Bloody cough as well. <laughs> um, so, where, where do you think this whole downfall started with Sunderland? I mean, was it the players or was it the manager? Oh... Now, yeah, I, I, I know straight away, yeah. if Michael, Michael Bowers, Bowers was on here, here. <laughs> I, I know, know where he would start. <laughs> because, because I know he actually wanted Moyes to stay. And Pete, <laughs> Pete, Pete actually wanted, wanted Moyes to go. go. Right. <sighs> and to, to be, be honest... honest I don't, I don't know, know what, what to say, just in case, case Bowers, Bowers is, is watching this. this. <laughs> <laughs> but really, I, I would say it's with the players. Yeah. I'd have to agree. Uh, the one thing that really stands out players-wise <coughs> is Kone's performances. Definitely. How can somebody go from being that class of defender, you know, uh, the previous season, 
to that. I mean, I don't even. Th I don't think any League One club would want to sign him. He was that bad. Yeah, he was. But to be honest, you, you know, with the injuries that we've had. Yeah. If we didn't have any injuries, do you think that would have kept us up? Yeah, yeah, because, because we, we had, had Duncan Watmore that was injured. Yeah. Paddy, Paddy, Paddy Magne. Yeah. You yeah, had Lee Catmull start, start the season. season. Well, Lee Catmull pretty much all season. <laughs> but I'm saying the, the injuries that we had, if we didn't have any injuries, do you think they would have possibly kept us in the Premier League? It would have given up. I can't say it would have because given us up, but it would have given us probably a better chance. Moyes wouldn't, wouldn't have wouldn't, wouldn't have been, been able, able to play, play some of the youngsters that much. I uh, under twenty three side, I should say. Yeah. So it's um that, that's that's always that'll always be a tricky one, won't it, to 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 say because you know there was still a fair amount of the normal first team players there. <coughs> but maybe they could have. Especially, especially since, since we, we didn't, didn't have, have much, much money, money either. either. Yeah, they could have. I suppose you could say that they could have added some more depth to the squad. So maybe it would have given us more of a fighting chance, you know, with that extra bit of rotation for the players. Well, well to, to be honest, honest I, don't I, don't know know you, I don't know you, I don't know you, I don't know if you heard, heard actually, but Mark, um, Marco Gabardini said on Top Sport once that we were linked with big names to come to Sunderland when Moyes was when Moyes actually came straight in. Uh, we were, you know, Moyes actually wanted Joe Hart. With Sunderland. Sunderland. Yeah, I remember that rumour flying around in the summer as well. That was uh, never, never really. I don't think Joe. Hall, I don't think Joe Hart would have came here though, because we had well, Pickford, Minoni, and that was it. Yeah. Until we got me. <coughs> yep. <coughs> not the centre, by the way. <laughs> Just want to point that out. Yeah, not not on the scene. Yeah. <laughs> I try to be like Grace Kelly. There's a copyright strike. <laughs> <coughs> oh dear. But it was like that, that I said to you this morning. Yeah, you know, there's been a lot of managers that's been linked with this job. But uh, managers will be looking at you know you know well the money that all the managers that we've had. They were promised off Ella Short. Never got it. They never got it. Yep. You know, and that's, uh, that, that's the key the, thing. The players the that they brought, brought in. Excuse me one second. Oh, man. I have to wipe your forehead with the towel there because, man, I am sweating in this house. <laughs> yeah, it is. It feels like summer. <laughs> Jesus, the weather's unreal. Um, but yeah, so yeah, the managers they were never really promised. They never really got the money. It never came about. Because um, it was like, like Moyes said, said, "Look, look at all the managers, managers that we've had." had. Yes, yes, fair, fair enough. enough we sacked some, some of them. them. Yeah. But Advocat walked. Uh, I would I say some of walked walk to, to England. England. Pretty much, yeah. <coughs> Who else was there? Um, Gus Poyet, he got sacked as well, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Di Canio got, got sacked, sacked, which we, we shouldn't have got, got him. him. <coughs> well, you can't, um, you can't say you shouldn't have got him, because uh, after all, all these managers we're naming now, besides David Moyes, had a better win ratio than what David Moyes ever did. And, and they, they didn't come out and say we win the relegation battle. battle. You know, well, my uh, Sam Allies did, did, but not, not in public, public eye. eye. Yeah. You know, second. To, you know, two, we were two games in, and Moyes comes out and actually says that publicly in the press in an interview after the game, the Middlesbrough game. You know. What? what not how, good enough. And then, of course, uh, that that was. I think that was probably the turning point as to where the fans. Started really, I wouldn't even say dislike. They started having more of a hatred towards Moyes because of how negative he was. Well, to be honest, I was, well, I didn't like about Moyes. Like, <coughs> fair enough. 
Well, going to Sunday, Sunday we, we lost 5 1 to against Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah. But, but you would have thought Moyes would have came over to the supporters. I know he'd be probably thinking, thinking yeah, this is my last game. game. But yeah. you would have thought Moyes would have went straight to the supporters and said, thank you for the support. Oh, exactly. I mean, was it? Is because it a, the players went over. over. Jermaine Defoe found out he didn't play that game, but he went over. Yeah. Um, has has it been every game again this season uh, away that's been sold out again? Yes. Yeah. See, you know, and people say that yeah, we might. We might. <coughs> oh God! But look at look at our first win, Bournemouth. Two one. Yeah. It's, it's that's when Moyes didn't actually take, take that game. game. <laughs> <laughs> it says a lot, doesn't it? I mean, Crystal Palace, yeah, obviously I mentioned it earlier, the 4 0 win against Crystal Palace, uh, that was back in February, was it? Yeah, yeah it was. But yeah. To be yeah, honest with, with you, you though, I, I think what's, what's brought Moyes down, down a little bit more is, is the accident with the BBC, BBC reporter. reporter. Yeah, that hasn't helped his case. Absolutely not. Um, it was sheer stupidity, wasn't it? Because Nick, Nick Bond said, said Mo well, well, Moyes has been, been the worst manager to actually interview. He has, he's been, you know, <clears throat> I know there were some interviews with Pep Guardiola that, fuck it, Jesus Christ, they were depressing to watch, they really were. But all of David, well, apart from when we actually won games, all of David Moyes' interviews, they were just dull and boring, weren't they? <coughs> you couldn't really pick up a single positive vibe from him, apart from those games we won. You know? Yeah. <coughs> so, you know, I got. I know another thing that what the fans didn't like about Moyes is like, look at Middlesbrough away. Yeah. Moyes came out and said, if we played well, we lost. I know, if we played that well, we would have won. You know, he's. And he knew how, how to beat Middlesbrough, did he? There's, there's a difference, isn't there? I mean, you look at the Chelsea game um, at the weekend. We lost 5-1, yeah. But you know what? Every pundit said we didn't deserve to lose 5-1 because defensively we actually played all right. Wasn't the best, but it shouldn't have really been 5-1. Well, well, I never, I never thought, thought we would have scored, scored against them. them. Well, <laughs> scored against them. Because to be honest, I didn't actually watch, watch the game. game. Yeah. I was with the lads. I was in South Shields. So, you know... Because I was like, after the game... Well, after, after when I went home, I was like, should I watch match of the day? And I'm like, no, because we lost. Uh, I actually still haven't watched that match of the day, actually. I've still got that recording on the Skybox. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was just too busy partying, me, man, honestly. <coughs> the <back of> South Shields. <coughs> I mean, had it been a case of, you know, we had to beat Chelsea to say stay up, I don't think it would have been too much of a party. It would have been actually something more serious, you know. But, uh, you know, to say we scored in the third minute, uh, and it was Mankio as well, that, that, that says a lot. That's on goal. Well, no, not with us now. He's yeah, gone, I think. Yeah, he's gone, in not Yeah. But, um, yeah, because apparently Chelsea actually started off the first five minutes. They were horrible. They couldn't string a pass together. Uh, Chelsea in the first five minutes of the game, you know. How many early goals have they scored this season as well? <laughs> <laughs> Instead it was us doing the early goal, scoring for a change. But, you know, right. So we're going to move on to... Oh, fuck, so, see, like, what, what got, got me as well? Moyes well, apparently <laughs> had plans <laughs> of already lined, lined up for players, players to come, come in, in to the, the club. club. Before, before he actually, actually resigned, so I wonder if he's passed those ideas to Ella Short and then whoever comes in next, which you don't know who it is at the moment, but could be anybody. Yeah. I wonder if Ella Short will pass those ideas across or will Moyes get in contact with his, uh, uh, his, uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder if he'd get in contact, contact with that person. person. Mm. 
Because maybe what it's like, like what Moise did with Sam. Uh, Moise actually contacted Sam Allardyce before he came to us. Asked about the staff, the players. Of course, not about asked Alan Short, but... You know, he asked for advice before taking the job. <coughs> To be honest, if I was any manager, I'd bloody ask anyone for advice before taking our job, that's for sure. <laughs> that's, that's why, I, I don't know if you've seen, seen, but Walter Smith, Smith that used to be the Scotland manager, manager is, is actually, actually helping, helping Martin Bay. He's helping Martin Bay. Actually, actually try, try and get the right manager, manager because didn't, didn't Walter, Walter Smith, Smith was it, wasn't was he at Everton? Everton? Not too sure. I know he was at Rangers. That's, That's where, where Martin, Martin Bain was. was. Yeah, I know he was at Rangers and he was a Scotland manager, I know that. So that, that'd be interesting then. <coughs> oh, bloody cough's killing me, I tell you. <laughs> so, uh, no, no, I, I, I think, think well, since he's gone, gone, I don't know where he go up to next, but I, I, I don't know if I'm listening to this, but David, good, good luck for the future. future. Where well, have you end up next? next? He needs to, you know what, part of me does feel sorry for him because he does need some luck. Ever since the whole Man United thing, his career's just been trashed by taking that one job. You know, Sir Alex Ferguson, you know, hand-picked him. Uh, it sounds fantastic, doesn't it? You know, Sir Alex Ferguson's hand-picked me, but ever since then, when, as, soon, as soon as he lost that Man United job, it's it's been downhill for him, hasn't it, you know? Yeah, yeah it has. Like, so, it worked, worked at Everton. Evan didn't work at Man United, but it didn't work here. Something must have happened down the line for it to work. How long was he at Everton for? Oh, he was there for a fair while. Because he was up to the entire club and everything, didn't he? So no, he had a good relationship with the owner. Yeah. At Everton, which he kept which he kept mentioning here when he first joined. Which, Which was all about Everton, 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 Everton. Because I, I, I said, said to a fan, well, somebody I put on Facebook actually, it's not a supporter. I said when Moyes joined us, it was all about Everton. Everton. And I've said, I said to him, Sunderland is not Everton Football Club. It's not yes, yeah, yeah, so I, I know he likes to talk about where he's been, but... I mean, I can understand why he was talking about it, because he, he had a vision of trying to get Sunderland up to that level that Everton are at. Of course, that sort of thing would take years. You know, if it had worked, then fair enough. But clearly, it obviously hasn't. It's had completely the opposite effect. Do you, think, if, do you think, think it would have worked, worked if you brought his own stuff in? in? Because, because the, the stuff, stuff that we had, had worked with Sam Allardyce, didn't they? they? Paul, Paul Griswold and Robbie, Robbie Stockdale. Stockdale. They did. Um, I mean, it might have helped to have that familiar setup. <coughs> Is it United, United he had Ryan Giggs? Yep. Uh, I can't remember who else he had. Which, which Ryan Giggs has actually been linked, linked with a sudden job. job? Yeah, uh, I believe it's odds of 4 to 1 or 5 to 1, I believe it was, last I looked. I'll actually have a look. Because it'll probably change my lightning. Well, more than likely. So, oh god. I'm going to get ready to move on to the players in a minute. That's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah it will be. be. <coughs> we'll not go through the whole squad. We'll just probably. We'll, we'll go through the players we'd rather want to keep. I think that's probably going to be the easiest selection than who to get rid of because we'd just be here all day, wouldn't we? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's going to be even harder as well. Cause yeah. Who would you keep from that squad? squad? <laughs> I, think, I, think a, I think a few I'd keep. There'd be a few, not a lot. <coughs> Excuse me, it's bloody cough, man. So what are we looking at then? Have you got it up yet? Uh, I've, I've actually got it up on this on the deck, actually. actually. Oh, okay. Uh. Last odds, odds actually, actually according to uh, Labrooks, Nigel, Nigel Pearson, Pearson was 92. Right. K 
Kevin Phillips, Phillips was 15 to 2. Mm-hmm. Uh, Derek McNinnis. Okay, whoever that is. Not a clue. 15 to 2. <coughs> yep. Ryan King, 12 to 1. Ryan Giggs, 12 to 1. Take Keane back. Uh, David Wagner, which, which is at. I'm sure he's at Tim Huddersfield. I'm sure of that. Rings a bell. It does ring a bell, yeah. 14 to 1. Alan Pardew, 16 to 1, which I wouldn't take. <laughs> Uh, Roy, Roy, which is actually, actually he's actually came out, out he's ruined his son by the job, job. sadly, but, but who's that? Uh, Roy, Roy Hodgson. Roy Hodgson. He's 20, 20 to 1, Gary Monk 20, 20 to 1, Paul Lambert, Lambert which is interesting. interesting. I wouldn't have Paul Lambert, no. He's, he's 20, 20 to 1, one. Uh, uh, a manager that, that Martin Bain actually, actually knows. knows. I can't actually announce his name, but I think it's 20 to 1. Claudio, 25 to 1. Oh, Ranieri. Steve McLaren, 25 to 1. They want to fucking scrap those. The highest of that, believe it or not, is Sean Dice. Really? 33 to 1. I can't see Sean Dice actually dropping back to the championship. Can't see it happening. <coughs> well, mind you, according to Roka Report, before Moyes joined us, Ellis Short was actually talking to Patrick, I think, was it Patrick Vieira? Patrick Vieira, yeah, the old uh, Arsenal defender, yeah. Yeah, he was speaking to him, he was speaking to Sean Dice. Yeah. And um, Paul Clement. That's at Swansea. Yeah. And look how that turned out for Swansea. They got survival. Which, Which uh, uh, pretty, pretty young, young keeper, uh, player, uh, player uh, manager. Manager. <laughs> but to be honest, can, can you, you really see Kevin, Kevin Phillips leaving Derby County? Mm. Well, maybe. You never know. I mean, if if we go in for him, who knows? I know, I know, I know he's, he's always wanted the job. job. <laughs> and of course, today. Another, Another former, former player, player actually wanted was, was uh, linked, linked with the job. <coughs> and that was, uh, was that Stefan Schwartz? Used to, he, he used to, to play on the peak of eight. Yeah. But, uh, right, well, I'm running out of time, so we're going to have to get on with the players and who to keep. Um, make it a bit easier. Any players that we had on loan, yeah, don't talk about them, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> The well, well, the players have gone, gone anyway. So, I think the first one we can agree on straight away would have to be to keep Jordan Pickford. Depending mm. on whether we sell him. Or I would so. say yes. Yeah. <clears throat> That's if the club doesn't go in for him. Well, I'll tell you what, some of the saves he pulled off toward the end of the season, his price tag certainly got a rocket up, that's for sure. You know, um, I couldn't, I couldn't believe, believe how much, much the price was put on him, actually. It was I was surprised at that much. Uh, it's, it, it, it's, it's one of those things, isn't it? You know, If people desperately want him, they'll pay whatever you want, you know? Because <coughs> look at it. What if, say, Manchester United came in for him? Because, uh, you know, David De Gea is looking almost set to join Real Madrid now. Um... You know, so what if Man United want to bring him in? You know, the cha-ching, the, you know, there's the money signs right there. You can easily rob them blind, you know? I mean, chances are they won't, they won't come in for him, you know, but if they did, you know, that that's the sort of thing, you know? The bigger the club, the bigger the price tag, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's true, like. Right? So, so I think we can agree with that. Um, defenders, who would you want to keep defensively? Remember, Mankio and Dene were on loan, so they're not included. Because I doubt we'll buy them anyway. <coughs> well, I don't think they'll come back, to be honest. 
No, I think they'd be glad they jumped the sinking ship. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Uh, to be honest, I'm actually going to look at the club website. Go for it, go for it. Because I've got a few players in my head that I'd want to keep. The rest I'd just want to literally flush down the toilet. I really would. Well, Jones, Jones is definitely, definitely one of them. them. That would keep. keep. Yeah, that's one of the players I've got in my head right now. Because he's already said he wants to commit to the club. Which is fantastic, you know. that That's the sort of dedication you want from players. I would, I would try and keep Oshie. Yeah, the experience. There's a lot of football pundits that have said that as well. Uh... I don't, I don't know about, about Adam Matthews, because we haven't seen much of him, him have we, <laughs> this season? <laughs> we haven't, no. Which, Which he is out on one, so he is back, back now. Yep. Yeah. I don't I know. know. Dylan Bodgy, probably? I think he could be good in the Championship. He, um, you know, because it is a very physical division down there, isn't it? Uh, you know, compared to the fancy footwork of the Premier League, you know, it's, it can get quite physical down there. And, you know, he's not, I know he's not the, exactly the build of Kone, but he's hes a big lad, isn't he, you know? <coughs> mm. Oh, the Yes. Oh, well, I think I already came out and I told you that, that I'd, I'd keep Oviedo. Um, I think I said that about a week ago. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know, know about, about Lescott. Lescott. No, I'll get rid of Lescott. You know, it's... Um, I think he's had his heyday now, you know. Plus, we'd have the experience there if we kept our shape. <coughs> and you don't want too many Chiefs and not enough Indians, so to speak, do you? You know? I don't I know about Donald Love, Love either. Hmm... Because he's, he's been, been playing, playing quite a lot of the under 23s, hasn't he? So... Well, he played in that final, didn't he? He was shocking in that final. I know Porto were a top team. It was their, pretty much the reserve team, not their under 23 team. It was their reserve team, wasn't it, you know? Um, but yeah, he was he was shocking in that game. <coughs> um, so, what about midfield then? Would you keep Camel? Yes. Oh, that's what I thought, that's what I thought. I'm going to give you a tricky one now, because I personally like to keep him, but I think we'll sell him. The club record signing, did he aim on? Well, looking at him this season, I would. You would? I know he's had some yes. bad games, but what players don't, you know? Um, see, I... I the, they're the two players I'd want to focus on keeping. Any, anyone else in the midfield, I'm not... Well, besides obviously Duncan Watmore and Linda Gooch, I'm not really asked about anyone else. <laughs> Do you Do think, think Lenz will come, come back? back? I think that ship has sailed um, with what he said, remember, a few months ago about the club. Uh, it was back in January actually, that's what it was, because I put something saying we should call him back and hang him out to dry. Um, <laughs> I, oh, honestly, it, we, you don't say that about your parent club, you know? God, if you've properly left the club, but he's such an idiot, he didn't realise, oh, hang on, no, yeah, I'm only online, I've got to come back yet. You know? Here's one, actually, but where'd you keep Larson? Larson? I would, yeah. Oh. Actually, I forgot. I'd, I'd, I'd keep Larson because um, he's had the experience in the championship as well, hasn't he? So you know, because you, you need experience sort of in all areas. So the uh, in, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. So in a way, the only two areas we'd be lacking for that experience would be goalkeeper wise, who haven't experienced the championship, and up front. Um, so speaking of up front, oh, fucking here we go, Fabio Barini. <laughs> Just put the 
cat among the pigeons right now, you know, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've just forgot another midfielder I'll keep. Honeyman. Yes, yeah. Actually, I forgot about him. <laughs> so, have you noticed? Yeah, yeah he, he's, he's now in first team. team. Most of the players we're going through for have a bit of youth here as well. <laughs> it's a bit weird, isn't it? Um, so, right, uh, anyway, yeah, Brainy, yes or no? Well, well to, to be, be honest, honest as well as you know, know oh, Celtic are actually, actually, Celtic actually wants him. But look at look at his agent. Look who his agent is. Oh, you, you mentioned this a few weeks ago. Who is his agent? He's got the same agent as a, as a big player, isn't he? director of football. Not, Not Condigan, but... The, the other one. one. The one, one that, that helped Dick Canio bring those eight players in. in. Oh, not DeFanti, is it? Mm -hmm. oh, That's his agent. That's his agent. Oh, God almighty. You are so brain has got to be jumping ship. That's done. <laughs> I'm going to say that for sure. Uh, <laughs> who else up front? I'll, I'll keep an each of Well, uh, so would he stay because Moyes has got Maybe. I mean, you know. They might, I know they managed to repair their working relationship after it sort of fell apart, didn't it, at Everton. But... Maybe he would, but at the same point, remember the photo that you saw on Instagram or Twitter of him packing his bags. So who knows? Yeah, yeah but, but you don't know how you don't know how true, true that is because, because true. looking true. against Arsenal, uh, Adnan and Yanisai <laughs> to put a full <laughs> on, on Instagram, Instagram saying goodbye. goodbye. Yeah, and he was still in that squad. Exactly. And you don't know what if it, what if say he's already committed to the club, uh, but they haven't announced it yet, and he's actually moving to the area. So he's moving from an apartment to a house, or whatever. You, the little things you don't know, you know. Um, well, to be honest, on some of these players, I would, I would really wait, wait because uh, more likely, well, I don't know when, but I'll say soon. Um, Sunderland will actually put out a list of players we've actually had to let go. Oh, without a doubt, because we've got a fair, again, again, comes to the end of the season, we've got a fair few players that are out of contract. I don't know why they do it. And, you know... Well, well to be honest, didn't Boy speak to those out of contract players, though? Apparently he was going to. I don't know whether he did or not. Um, but he did say that he was going to do that all of last week, didn't he, before the Chelsea game? Because <coughs> I, 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 I think he, he I think he did, did but the best one really, well, to know about that would be Martin Bain, Bain now. Exactly, yeah, because he'll be taking over that role for now, won't he? At the moment, Martin Bain, Bain is actually taking over the transfers until we get to a manager in, yeah, or manager or head coach. So, I prefer a manager. I don't, I've never liked the idea of having a head coach and you let somebody else choose the players. No. It just, it, look at it, that, that's where we were wrong with DeFanti, wasn't it? Bringing in yeah. all that crap and Deadwood, you know? So, I mean, but again, it would be a different story if all this crap and Deadwood actually wasn't crap and Deadwood and it turns out that, you know, they turn out to be absolute fantastic players. But... Uh, Unfortunately, it never came to fruition. <laughs> Here's one, mate. Would you keep Buckley? <coughs> Who? Will Buckley at the club in the championship? I would. He's got the experience for Bright. He had the experience for Brighton, didn't he? Because well, he'd be back with us now. Yeah, because he went out on loan, didn't he? Certainly went out on loan. Yeah, he will be. Yeah. So it's um. I'm trying, I'm trying to take another one I'll keep in uh, as a striker. I would say possibly a circle once he gets, you know, once he gets there. I think we'll see a lot of him in the championship. Because he's, a circle is pretty young. So, I mean, let's not forget, we're going to have to get a lot of bodies through the door somehow as well, because 
in, in the championship, as proven with Newcastle, you know, you need that squad rotation. You, you really do. You can't just start. It's not. It's not a league where you can just play the same eleven players every single day. You, you know, because you've got sometimes you've got two games a week. I believe at one point uh, Newcastle had something like. Uh, was it four games in like ten days or something like that over the Christmas period? No, I mean, you know, that's where rotation is key. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I was going to ask you, actually. Yeah. The under-23 side, who would you put into the first team for next, next season? season? I would Looking look at, at the game against Paul. Paul. Hmm. So, uh, we've got to keep note in mind, because obviously I know they play terrible, but... Because for me, I would, I would look, look at Embleton. Embleton. Yeah. I thought, I thought he, did he did well that game. He did, he did. Uh, Strychek did pretty well as well. You know, pen up that penalty save. Yeah, through that, 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 that penalty save was good. It really was. Be honest, <laughs> for a while I was sad, I was like, like, no, please don't go in. Please don't go in. Well, we were... We weren't behind the goal, we were more, as you look at the goal, we were more sort of to the left in the corner. Uh, so we've got a fantastic view of it, and what a save. You could, you know, you could tell he, he's a keeper for the future, because he's got some good strong hands on him, that's for sure. So... <coughs> I'll ask you as well, actually. Um, I shouldn't have been in this video, but I should What actually happened against Paul? You know, they started doing fights, didn't they? Sorry? You know, yeah, when, when Paul, Paul actually started arguing, didn't they, with the, um, the Sunderland supporters? Uh, I'm not too sure. First, uh, when, when did you, you leave? leave? Well, see, I had to leave at uh, half-time, um, obviously because of, uh, of Thailand being upset. Because <laughs> before <laughs> the actual, actual players, players came out in second, second half, mm -hmm. Paul, Paul actually, actually started, started fighting with, with the Sunderland, Sunderland supporters. supporters. What, the Porto players or the Porto fans? The actual the fans. fans. Oh, does that fucking surprise you? <laughs> I mean, does it really surprise you? You know, the, the amount of... Because that, that, that's... Because, because at first they had, had the Porto supporters, supporters behind, behind the goal. And, and then, then they, they actually moved, moved them. them. to the east stand, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah they, they were. were. Yeah. Because um, if the east stand was cornered off, there was an obvious... The yeah, because I saw a few people going to sit down there and they got ushered away. Um, I, I honestly don't know, but it's a common thing throughout football outside of the UK, isn't it? How many times are fans fighting? Granted, this season we've seen a lot of it. West Ham fans. Well, they're not really fans of hooligans, aren't they, to be fair? <coughs> um... But I'd say Azoro, Embleton, uh, if we were to sell Pickford, I'd happily promote uh, Strychek any day. I believe that's how you pronounce it, by the way, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> um, yeah, it's Strychek. Strychek, Strychek yeah. Because um, the under-23s have, have got another goalkeeper. goalkeeper. Yeah. So They've got, got three. three. <laughs> <laughs> right, there you go. Uh, uh, James Talbot. Talbot. Yeah. I haven't seen Strychek, and, and they've got, got Oliver Payne. God, he must be a <laughs> <laughs> uh, They're the only ones I can really think of, to be honest, at the minute. Uh, see, I'm trying to think. Who else have we played up front this season besides the foe and then each of me? It was only really Yanazai, wasn't it? Yep. But then again, which, is, you know, which has gone, gone back, back to United. United. The fucking keep him on all. Jesus. <laughs> if any Man United fans any Man United fans are watching this, please, please. Actually. Speak to Mourinho, okay? Tell him to shove Yanazai in a locker, uh, uh, lock the fucking thing and chuck away the key, please. He is awful. And I see now why Man United fans are so pleased that he went out on loan. Jesus Christ, honestly. Didn't, Didn't we, we play, play one more much, much up front? front. Uh, we did a couple of times, but we've already said that we wanted to keep him, didn't we? So oh, yeah. we said that because <laughs> he's sort of been playing more on the midfield wing type, isn't he? You know that area of the field. Uh, but I know there was a couple of times where Defoe was out, where we had to play him up front before he got cabbage. 
I think it'd be interesting to see well, who this new manager is, well, and who he brings in, because you, you don't know, because, you know, well, half of those players we've got, well, the Everton Nats, they're actually Moyes' players. Oviedo's Moyes, Gibson's Moyes, uh, I'd say Rodwell's Moyes, but he's not. See, there's a reason why I left Rodwell Which, which? I guess, I guess you wouldn't, you wouldn't keep, keep him. him. I wouldn't keep him, no. I mean, what a money-grabbing leech he is. <clears throat> Refuses to, to take a pay cut. Spends most of the season on the injury table. I think the, yeah, the most decent thing you could do is take a pay cut. Even if it was just half of the amount. Even if he was still on 30 grand a week. It, you know, but he d chooses not to take the pay cut. Fair enough. It was his choice, but... You know, so we're going to pay him 60 grand a week to continually be injured now. Good times at Sunderland now, isn't it? <laughs> oh, fucking hell. To be honest, I think that's why a lot of Sunderland fans are happy that Moyes has gone. Sorry, Bowers, but I know I know Bowers wasn't happy. I could tell by his video. He actually wanted Moyes. He actually wanted Moyes to stay. But I think quite a lot will be happy that he's gone. But I think now, since we've got no manager, I think a lot of supporters will be looking. To say who who could come in because I've seen somewhere that Nigel Pearson is actually on the short list for Middlesbrough. Oh God! So what we're gonna have like a two? So really, could he go to Middlesbrough or could he come to us? It's gonna depend, obviously, who's in a better financial position, and we both know who that is. It's Middlesbrough, isn't it? You know. Because the ex Middlesbrough manager has actually said he would like to stay in the North East. Uh, so one of those where people slate in Middlesbrough for spending so long down the Championship. Yeah, but you look at it; they did it a smart way. They got rid of all the debt, didn't they? You know, that's going to be hard for us. Jesus Christ! Well, half that debt is coming from. Um, Sure. It's came from Mellon Short. Yeah, because it was loaded into the club. So if, if he wanted to, yeah, if he was if he was truly committed to the club, if he actually wanted to, he could easily write that debt off. But will he? That's the thing. Because, because somebody, somebody asked Richard Bonnet yesterday, yesterday is, is somebody, somebody actually close to coming for the club? club because Sunderland is actually still up for sale. sale. Exactly, that, that's the other risk factor. Is a manager going to be willing to go into a club that is looking to be sold, knowing that they could get sacked and replaced by any Tom, Dick and Harry? You know, you know it, it's true though, isn't it? You know, how many times have you seen it? Um, well, yeah, a bit like, like what Aston Villa. A bit like Aston Villa. Yeah. And even then, look how hard it was for uh, Randy Lerner to sell Aston Villa when they got relegated. It took him, what, three to six months, I think it was, to sell them? <coughs> Was, well, I think, I think, I think Leeds, Leeds have just got, got a new one. Another one? Oh, I, I think somebody's took over. over because, because I, well, as you know, Gary, Gary, Gary Monk's, Monk's contract was going to end next month, month but this, this other person that's just came, came in, I think, I think is going to try and keep him there. Yeah. It's a shame because I would love him on Bayer. He's a decent manager. Definitely a decent manager, that's for sure. <coughs> this cough is doing my head in. <laughs> I, I think Gary would do well in the North East. He's, uh, well, anybody, anybody would, would, but some, some managers, managers I think, think would rather, rather stay in London. London. Claudio, for example, I think he would stay in London. I do. I mean, you know what? I could probably see. Because I, I think, personally, Arsene Wenger's future hinges on this FA Cup final. If he loses it, I think he's out. Who could take his place? Ranieri. <coughs> well, if it wasn't his, Watford's got no manager. That's true, yes. Um, Palace has got no manager. Well, they got, you know, they're, not mass, they're not small clubs. So granted, they're not massive clubs, though. But they're clubs that do have some financial weight. Look at the players when Watford first got promoted. The amount of players they got through the door. To make sure they'd have enough to back up any injuries. 
you know. I, I think, think it'd, it'd be interesting to see where Claudio goes, because like, like I, said I, said I said to you this morning, morning well, the, the Sky, Sky Sports have said Claudio hasn't actually had any word of any club at the moment. Mm. He's, He's just been, because it, it, I, I think, think it'd be still like, like the ex-Manchester City manager. Uh, Ranieri? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, I believe. Uh, no, uh, was it, wasn't he ex-Chelsea? <coughs> I'm certain he was ex-Chelsea manager. Yeah, Claudio. Yeah, Claudio, yeah, yeah he, he was. He, he, he used to manage Chelsea. Chelsea. He was actually, believe it or not, Claudio was at the game on Sunday. That's interesting. He was in the crowd. Because when, when I when I heard, I'm like, is Claudio watching Chelsea? Or is he watching Sunderland? Yeah. Did he know something was going to happen to Moyes? It's an interesting one. <coughs> because apparently, uh, well, from what, well, so, so a while back. But Moyes, well, well before he came to us, I think Chris Young reported it. Oh, it's a scroll. Uh, David Moyes was actually at the stadium of light watching our, one of our games in the stand. Yeah, see, that's, that's an interesting one, isn't it? You know. Uh, because, because now, since, well, well, I know Moyes is on holiday, because he, I think he flew out somewhere just after the meeting on Monday. Yeah. So, so now, now, I think when he comes back, back I, I think, think he will go to other clubs. clubs. Start next, next season, if he hasn't got a job, I think he will watch, go to other clubs, clubs and start watching games. games. Oh, without a doubt. So, so he is available. I mean, at least, uh, at least one, one thing we can say Sunderland did achieve this season. We've actually kept a manager for an entire season. Yeah, yeah without Sunderland. Yeah, for the first time. To be honest, this, this is the, the second, second time, time Lord, because <coughs> didn't, didn't Steve, Steve Bruce, Bruce go, for, go through a full season? season. <coughs> he did, yeah. Um, but it's a, that's what we say, it's the first time in God knows how long. Since this whole the, the whole escapade of relegation, yeah, get relegation threatened, sack the manager, bring a new one in, do the same next season and next season, you know. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to know where the relegation started from, because it, it wasn't Bruce. Personally, well, I, would, I would love to know where it started. Personally, I think it started with Decanio, with all these ridiculous players that came in. That's what really sort of financially started crippling the club and then obviously slightly before that though not selling players on just running the contract down and releasing them that hasn't helped you know you buy a player for 15 million pounds you let the contract run down over three years you they leave for free there's no profit there but at least if you sell that player off for say 10 million okay it's a five million pound hit but at least you've recouped some of that money haven't you you know <coughs> Yeah, yeah, but that's what I was going to say to you. Look at, well, Henderson, which, well, son of Bond, right? Yeah. He's done well, wherever he's been. Yeah, he did well with us. <coughs> now he's doing well at Liverpool. Wasn't he the last Sunderland player that we actually sold for a profit? Because it was Mignone, then it was Henderson, wasn't it? Yep. It's ridiculous. Absolutely that's now that's now one in England squad, which I was, I was going to tell you actually the England, England team, from what I understand, yeah, is getting announced tomorrow. Okay. Oh yeah, because they've got a couple of friendlies coming up, and they will qualify us, which is a bit weird at the end of the football season. I know, but you're going to mention, but to force on his way to back to Bournemouth. So, I, personally, I, I don't. I'd be surprised if Defoe gets in because what with Harry Kane now being fit, you know. <coughs> but then again, yeah. I, I think Defoe might. might. I, think I think he, he might, might get, get picked. picked. Yeah. If, if he, he does, does I, would, I would still support him. Oh, of course I would. You know, at the end of the day, look, he'd come here, 
he's got his contract. His contract's run out. It's our own stupid fault why he didn't renew it. Uh, we have honest, I've, I've got, got to thank two people, people for that, though, for bringing to fall. Who's that then? Gus Poyet. Yep. Yeah. And um, Lee Condigan. Yep. Yeah. Well, there's actually a third one you can thank. Dozy Donkey Door, Donkey yeah. <laughs> if we never signed him, the swap wouldn't have happened. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, we sent him to <coughs> Toronto. He's still playing for Toronto, you know. Is he? I do check on the MLS every now and then, yeah. He's still he's still in the, uh, in the start of the world. Uh... <laughs> I don't know whether he's scoring goals, mate. Right, but... Yeah. So... Right, I'm probably going to have to wrap the video up there. I've got to get ready to go get the kids from school soon. That's going to be fun. Um, so, guys, we're going to leave it here for you lot watching on YouTube. We're going to have a little chat after for a couple of minutes. Um, let me know in the comments below what player you want to keep. And obviously, I will leave a link to Paul's channel as always in the description. Can I, can I just, I just add, add here, Craig? Go for it. Also, also put, put the, the comments, comments below. Craig, you might like this, actually. Go on. Who do you think next other manager should be? Oh, that could put the cat among the pigeons there. Oh, I've used that saying twice in a video. That's quite rare. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Scott the player. Scott can you, the player. Can you just can, can you, you just imagine all the comments? Because people, because there is a lot. Of, well, I would say quite a lot of managers that out of work. True. Okay. Yeah. Champ so there's championship, championship managers. There's managers from abroad. Yep. Of course, well, uh, well, we've got, got managers, managers in England, so I take work as well. True, true. So, right, so scrap the player thing. We'll go with exactly what Paul said. Let, uh, let me know, I'll keep Paul updated, who you guys want as a Sunderland manager. That's going to be interesting. So for now, we're going to say bye now. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you all probably for an FA Cup preview. Maybe, if I get time. If not, it'll be the playoff final preview. So, for now, I'll see you later. Say bye, Paul. See you later, everybody. Have a nice day. And it's a bloody marvellous day as well. <laughs>